Welcome back to Five Facts, a show that Anderson Cooper calls, How Did You Get This Email Address? When tomatoes were brought over from the New World in the 1500s, many Europeans thought they were poisonous because fancy rich people would eat them off pewter plates and the lead in the pewter would seep into the tomatoes and kill them. Man, two centuries without ketchup. Or as Mustard liked to call it, I've never felt so alive! All human fetuses grow a mustache that spreads over their entire body. The baby then eats the hair in utero and poops it out after birth. Those are some sophisticated looking babies. Doesn't your daughter have like a lot of hair? No, not more than usual. When Marco Polo reached Indonesia, he saw a rhinoceros, thought it was a unicorn, and was really disappointed about how ugly it was. He even wrote about it in his diary. Dear diary, today I made it to Indonesia and finally finally saw a unicorn, and let me tell you, those things ugly as f When I get back to Italy, remind me to punch Gary in his stupid f mouth because they do not look anything like what he described. They got hair like a buffalo, and they got feet like an elephant, and they got this one big fat horn right in the middle of the fat goddamn face, and they just and roll around in the mud all day. You know what's magical about unicorn shit, Gary? Nothing. I swear to God, if the mermaids in China turn out to be ugly, I will turn this f***ing boat around. This was a big f***ing mistake, and I shouldn't have flown United. Don't even get me started about f***ing United. F***ing call peanuts a meal. Did you know Leonard Nimoy, yes, that Leonard Nimoy, directed 80's classic Three Men and a Baby? Bonus fact, Nimoy nearly killed Steve Gutenberg with a Vulcan death grip because the Goots kept messing with Ted Danson's hair. The next time you're in the produce section, think about this, Jack. Vegetables have circadian rhythms. They can tell day from night. And researchers found that if you screw up those rhythms, veggies can suffer from jet lag. That reminds me of that one time. Hey man, how was your weekend? Pretty cool. Saw a man of steel. Loved it. You? Just hung out with the fam. Nothing major. That's cool. Oh, where's eggplant? He's late. I think he's coming back from LA. I gave him like five seconds before he starts blabbing about how awesome VeggieCon was. Gross. VeggieCon was amazing. Got so much swag. Took like five TSA agents to clear my bags. Oh, hey Eggplant. Good morning to you too. Man, sorry I'm late. Just took the red eye in. So jet lagged, man. Saw Man of Steel on the plane. Hated it. Everyone at VeggieCon thought it sucked. We had a private screening, just made fun of it the whole time. Yo, I need a Red Bull. We're, we're sorry for that. What do you want to know about? Leave a suggestion for a show theme, and we'll dig up some facts for you. And to the commenter who keeps asking us to do a Kevin James themed show, we've looked into it. There's only four facts. And three of them are about mall cup. Sorry, I laughed thinking about what this is going to look like. <laughs> I'm having trouble picking a face. <laughs> does, this read, yeah. does this read? Yeah, that's, that's pretty great. Okay, that's a perfect bam, bam! Okay. Researchers, scientists? Researchers. Okay. That's broader. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not real science. science. Yeah. Think about... No. Right. <laughs> VeggieCon <laughs> was amazing! <laughs> I got so much swag. It took like five DSA workers to inspect my badge. <laughs> I like how there's just like this hand reaching out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.